Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV, your source for figure and model updates every Wednesday and Friday. So here is the hobby fan commander for the striker who I'm intending to use in the Abrams. I have him done up now. He's at the ink sort of wash stage now. I haven't done any highlights or uh, you know weathering or oil washes or anything final like that. So this is still very much a work in progress. But I'm just showing sort of the halfway point for the ACU camouflage. And I use this figure as my guinea pig because of the way he's posed. I'm not sure if his hand will actually extend and fit in the Tusk II reactive armor on the copula. And so what I've learned is that you've really got to just do it in layers. Like I didn't go for sharp geometric shaping necessarily and perfect digital camera print uh, what I was going for is just a disruptive sort of confuse your eye and make you think that you're looking at ACU more than anything and so the colors that I used were the base color which was sprayed on in just a standard base coating style was life color sand gray and then the the initial Tetrisy short sort of shapes were done with light color German field gray, which is a fantastic color for ACU, especially if you're looking at reference photos of guys who are just coming into the field and they have brand new uniforms. Then going from there, I went to Caliban green because it's got a bit of blue in it naturally, and this stuff paints on fairly well as long as you thin it down with some water. And then that created sort of the deepest color. And then over the top of that, I used dark green from Polyscale because it's got some olive in it and it's sort of a, a halfway point between the two previous colors. And then finally over top of that, I went back to German Field Gray just to round everything out. And with all those colors, you get this. And it's fairly pleasing, I think. Try to cover up as much of the base color as possible while still having it recognizable underneath and the lessons I've learned other than that are just to sharpen your brush once you've thinned down the color just sort of give it a quick flick like uh, like a, one of those Japanese calligraphy pens where you twist it and pull it and that gives you a really sharp edge you can use that to create the geometric shapes as you can see going down the leg the shapes become far more blocky and far more defined I did that intentionally because when you have him in the turret, uh, not very much light gets down to this area. So if any does, you can still see that there's shapes down there. And that way it sort of still gives you that impression of camouflage. The molly straps I kept as a single color. And they haven't been highlighted yet, so they look quite a bit darker than they're going to. But uh, looking at my reference photos, I saw a lot of just standard, the molly straps being a single color. Let me know what you think about ACU in general through your referencing. I used mostly infantry, just standard army infantry uniforms as my reference since that's what these guys are for. But I saw a lot of, maybe it was the way that the light hit the pictures or the weather conditions, but sometimes ACU looks almost blue or really, really dark gray. And other times it looks really, really faded. So uh, I figured the faded is for, you know, obviously if it's been in the, the sun too long or what have you. But yeah, let me know what you think, what your thoughts are on ACU. And I'll be trying to replicate this with the next three figures and see how that that progresses over time thanks very much for watching follow us on facebook pinterest and twitter and check out all the fantastic new stuff we've got in i'll be vlogging that on friday and all that stuff so thanks very much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye